let's take a look at the prototype spy plane that is tracking Russian troop movements for the U.S. Army. As the slow rolling invasion of Ukraine unfolds, U.S. military aircraft are flying round-the-clock sorties with spy and surveillance aircraft to determine Russia's next moves. Among these aircraft is a novel spy plane prototype known as the Artemis, which stands for Airborne Reconnaissance and Target Exploitation Multi-Mission System. The Artemis aircraft is a heavily modified Bombardier Challenger 650, which contains military-grade sensors for tracking troop movements. The aircraft is operated by defense contractor Leidos and has been flying operations over Eastern Europe since the beginning of this month, February 2022. Aviation enthusiasts using open source flight tracking software have spotted the aircraft operating near Poland's borders hours after Putin announced that Russian forces were moving into Ukrainian territory. A typical flight path for the Artemis aircraft is to depart from Romania and fly through Slovakia and Hungary. During this leg of the flight, the aircraft can process sensor data from Ukraine. The flight path then continues to Poland where it skirts the Polish eastern and northern borders, thereby allowing it to collect sensor data from Belarus where Russia has also staged troops. If you recall from a previous video on this channel, F-15s have been recently deployed to Poland. So it is likely that the Artemis aircraft has eagles in the area providing escort and combat air patrols for its protection. The sensors aboard the Artemis aircraft can project for hundreds of miles, meaning that the aircraft can collect valuable intelligence data while remaining safely inside of NATO airspace. Some of these sensors include ground scanning radar, electronic and RF signal collection devices. This allows the aircraft to see the movement of Russian tanks in real time, greatly assisting intelligence officers with updates on a developing situation. It is important to note that the flights of the Artemis aircraft are conducted with approval and coordination of the host nations involved. This showcases the cooperation that is part of the NATO alliance. So what is the Artemis aircraft and how did it come to be? The prototype Artemis is an electronic intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance or ISR aircraft intended to be a replacement for the Army's aging RCX-12 guardrail. The RC-12 is a modified C-12 which is based on the Beechcraft Super King Air airframe. Most of the C-12s operating for the military are passenger and light cargo aircraft, however the RC-12 has been converted for SIGINT or Signals Intelligence. The Artemis aircraft has several advantages over the RC-12, mainly added endurance and range. The Artemis can fly for more than 10 hours and loiter or for 4,000 miles at an operational altitude of 41,000 feet. At these altitudes, the Artemis' sensors are provided with significant time to penetrate enemy territory and gather data. The sensor suite for the Artemis appears to be modular, meaning that different sensor packages can be fitted depending on the mission. Some examples include imagery, signals, or electronic intelligence gathering devices. There are reports that the Artemis aircraft has been fitted with an experimental payload known as the High Accuracy Detection and Exploitation System, or Hades. The Hades sensor suite is part of an R&D effort that falls under the Multi-Domain Sensing System program. Along with the aforementioned sensor packages, Hades also includes Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR, since the Artemis prototype is a jet-powered aircraft. There are questions as to who will ultimately own and operate the aircraft. Currently, it appears that it is operating under an Army contract but historically, the Air Force has owned and operated jet aircraft, while the Army has stuck to propeller-driven aircraft such as helicopters and the aforementioned C-12 and RC-12. And while the Army's Artemis has been flying and collecting intelligence data during the current Ukrainian crisis, it has not been operating alone in this role. U.S. Air Force RQ-4 Global Hawks have been flying over Ukraine, and the RC-135 Rivet Joint has been flying over Poland as well in recent days. The RC-135's ability to locate and identify electromagnetic signals could help determine where Russia is positioning its air defense systems like the S-400. Along with these aircraft, a WC-135 Constant Phoenix has flown over the Baltic Sea. The WC-135 is described as a sniffer plane since its sensors can detect radioactive particles, which is useful for detecting and identifying nuclear explosions. Additionally, operating over the North Sea, Black Sea, and Norwegian Sea, Navy P-8s have been flying almost daily missions in their search for submarines and other naval activity. The current situation has entered a new phase with Russian forces entering eastern Ukraine and Russia announcing that they would recognize the independence of Donetsk and Luhansk, two areas which have been under siege by Russian-backed separatists. Adding to the situation, 
Russia's upper house of parliament has granted Putin permission to use military force outside of Russia, possibly paving the way for a full-scale invasion. We are witnessing history unfolding before us. Let us hope that somehow this situation does not degrade any further. Our thoughts and prayers to those who are gathering intelligence and all the troops that have been forward deployed.